Today, my mom is making Thai coconut curry. She has perfected the recipe over the years, so this is how you make it. Now, it's really up to you what vegetables and meat you want to add. My mom grabbed whatever vegetable we had in the fridge, and we had some chicken in the freezer. Most of the flavor comes from the red and yellow curry paste, which we mix with the chicken. Make sure you wear gloves, because things get messy, and it's really spicy, so you don't want that on your hand. Add enough oil to coat the bottom, throw in your lemongrass, garlic, and shallots. Once the aroma fills the air, throw in your chicken and potatoes, because those take the longest to cook. So for now, we only want to add half the can of coconut milk, because we don't want the bottom to burn. Add enough water to cover all all the vegetables and chicken, put in three spoons of sugar and three spoons of fish sauce. And the secret ingredient is the Thai lime leaves that my mom grows in her garden. She's putting them in so delicately like her little babies. So let's throw in the rest of our vegetables and the last of the coconut milk. Now completely optional, but my mom likes to add the red coloring to the curry. And she does this by putting oil in this red seed and then pours the liquid into the pot. It doesn't add any flavor, so don't worry if you don't have it. If you want to see more of my mom's recipes, subscribe and check out the other videos on my channel. I hope you're ready for a blast of flavor because 